right, well, let's uh, take a look at uh, some of those results to get his opinion. James Gerrish from Shore and Partners and author of Market Matters joining us now. James, good to catch up. Um, why don't we start with one out this morning? That was uh, Aluka and uh, net profit uh, up 186% and uh, cash flow there, 481 million. Um, the company saying it's, fir it's firmly focused on furthering its rare earth projects. How do you view it? How do you view it? Yeah, good morning to you, Andrew. It was a uh, the first half result for um, Aluka this morning, so they did end pat uh, for the first half of 368 million, which is um, compared pretty favourably to 289 million, um, which was consensus. So uh, it looks like a good result from Aluka, and a, a couple of um, key things there. You know, obviously mineral sands pricing has been pretty favourable. The stock's done particularly well, and as you said there, um, you know that that rare earths. Um, investment that they're pushing forward with is going to be a significant driver of future earnings. So um, it looked uh, all good for mine, Andrew, in terms of Aluka. And the other thing that I'd just highlight is around the um, the spin out um, Sierra Rutile, which is SRX, um, which is was spun out of Iluka um, in recent months. So um, that is a, another stock that looks particularly cheap. Obviously, in uh, the depths of Africa, which is going to, mm. you know, which is has a, a lot of risk associated with it, but that looks like a cheap uh, exposure in the mineral sand space as well. All right. Elsewhere, Altium, the software company, goodness, uh, huge moves yesterday off the back of its results. Yeah, it was good to see it obviously rallied um, 20% yesterday. It was um, you know, opened up and then then pushed on through it throughout, throughout the session. And it should have because it was a cracking result. So, uh, in terms of you know versus our expectations, they are about eight percent ahead. In terms of FY22 earnings, their guidance was about eight percent ahead for FY23. But they there was a there was a, um, a, a slight change in language. They talked to the guidance being pretty conservative, but they also amended their wording around their aspirational. Uh, revenue target for FY26, which is 500 million in annual revenue. Just to put that in the context, they did 221 in FY22, so it's a big number. The market was looking for well, the market um, believed that about 10 to 20 percent of that would have been acquisition driven, not organic growth. They've come out and clarified that and saying the whole number is going to be driven by organic growth. So that's another sort of upgrade by stealth, if you like, for for Altium. So I thought, you know, if I'm looking across the results so far. That has been the pick of the bunch for mine, Andrew. Okay, all right. And thirdly, we're going to take a look at Reese, uh, the the plumbing and building supply company with uh, heavy exposure in the states. Um, what did you make of its results, and uh, did it give us guidance? Because obviously there is concern there, particularly what's going on in the global economy and how that's going to affect the business. Yeah, they were out after market with their full-year results. So it actually looked like a, a good one in the context of where the share price has been. So obviously the share price has halved, pretty much halved over the last um, 12 months or from recent highs. So um, they, did, they did net profit of $392.5 million, which was, um, you know, a fair amount bit better than the 368 million expected by the market so that'll that should um, be dealt with pretty favorably today revenue was up 22 percent year on year um, and um, you know all the other metrics look fine in terms of guidance are a bit more uh, less committal in terms of, of guidance obviously challenges out there um, but that run rate for fy 22 is, is is good particularly in the context of where their share price is which you, you can see in the the screen in front of you James, uh, more than halfway through uh, earnings season at this point, how would you rate it? Yeah, not too bad. Hits and misses, Andrew. So obviously, with any reporting season in the you know with the backdrop of some pretty challenging economic conditions, you know, have companies that handle those better than others. Um, but overall, I think it's been more positive than anything else. So at the start of this week, I think we had. 60 odd percent of the market that had um, that had reported results um, beat to misses. We're running at um, three to two ratio, so that's positive. Um, it just comes down to you know FY23 guidance in some sectors has probably been a little bit underwhelming. So particularly in places like property, uh, we've seen a, you know downgrades in aggregate across the cro property space for FY23. That's based on higher interest rate expectations and a few other um, uh, a few other sectors that have sort of been a little bit underwhelming. But overall, I've got to say, you know, the, the expectations were weak or low going into it. It's probably been better than expected to date. 